If you've been to Britain, you'll have noticed that British people love to talk about the weather. By the end of their life, the average British person will have spent six months discussing it. A recent survey found that a quarter of the population use the weather as a conversation starter. And 70% of people check the weather every day. Recently, it has become even more popular as a conversation topic. This is because the weather in Britain is becoming more extreme. In 2013, the country had the coldest spring in 50 years, and 2012 was the wettest year since records began. But in reality, this spell of severe weather is nothing compared to the droughts, torrential rain and devastating storms experienced in other parts of the world. Compared to other countries, the British weather is still quite mild. Some people say this is why we love talking about it. The weather is a safe topic of conversation, perfect for the famously reserved British. But whatever the reason, one thing is certain. This national obsession with weather shapes our everyday lives and has had a huge social impact, influencing the country's economy and its politics. In 2011, the British Chancellor, George Osborne, blamed the weather for the country's disappointing economic performance because the winter of 2010 had been the coldest and snowiest in decades. He wasn't the first politician to blame the weather. The former Prime Minister, Gordon Brown, had also used the cold weather as an excuse when the economy wasn't doing well. Rain has also had an effect. In 2012, heavy rain contributed to the very slow growth of the British economy. People stopped going out to buy things in shops, eat in restaurants or socialise in pubs and cafes. Instead, they stayed at home and kept their money in their pockets. But the role of weather in British politics isn't confined to the economy. British elections are almost always held in the spring or the summer. This is because politicians believe people are more likely to come out to vote if the weather is good. Some experts say that the weather is why the UK has never had a revolution. Britain's mild weather means the country doesn't suffer from the extreme heat or extreme cold, which can often cause food shortages, which, in turn, often lead to rebellion. The British weather has also shaped British culture, and it's a constant theme in both literature and art. Many of the great British artists, such as Turner and Constable, found inspiration in Britain's weather. It appears in many famous British plays, books and poems, and features heavily in the work of the country's most famous writer, William Shakespeare. In fact, the weather has even had a huge impact on our language, and there are lots of weather idioms in English. If you say you are under the weather, it means you're ill. And if you're snowed under, you're busy. If you weather the storm, it means you survive something. And if you're right as rain, you're feeling fine. Come rain or shine, the British will always have something to say about the weather. It's part of our daily lives and has influenced who we are, how we live, and how we express ourselves. <laughs>